Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm putting in a second garden bed right over here, this triangular shaped section that you see right here. To your left over here is the original garden bed that we put in when we were building the house. Uh, this one is pretty large. This is not going to double the size of our you know, total growing area or anything like that, but it's just going to give us a little bit of overflow and make it so I don't feel like I've got to kind of pack things in quite as tightly over in that area there. When I did this garden bed, uh, you know, I put a lot of... Uh, you know, materials in there. Uh, we started with the topsoil. I added uh, oh, several cubic feet, uh, several cubic feet of compost material. I added peat moss to that. I even added vermiculite into there. Uh, so you know that garden soil was pretty good right from the get-go, the first uh, year or two. What I'm going to be doing here is not quite as intensive as that. Uh, I've got topsoil on the top, and then just kind of some fill material below. And I'm going to just be planting right into this, and I'll be doing some liquid fertilizers on top and see if we can kind of get it jump-started that way without having to bring in a bunch of compost. The reason for that is, you know, just, it's really just time and money. You know, I, I, I don't want to have to order the compost to be delivered here, and, you know, it costs a fair bit of money to do that. I'm going to see if I can wing it and uh, just you know, get this thing going kind of DIY on my own. And towards that end, the first plant that I'm going to be uh, growing in here, the first crop, is going to be pole beans. And that's why I'm putting in these posts at the corner. I'm not putting up a fence. I'm going to be putting up kind of a lattice of sticks, and that is going to give the beans something to get vine up. What ha has been growing in here, in this area here, there's some grass, but mostly it's clover. And both clover and uh, beans, legumes, things of that nature, are carbon fixers. They're going to be adding a lot of nice... No, they're not carbon fixers at all. They're nitrogen fixers. Uh, they're going to be adding a lot of uh, nitrogen into the soil, so I thought that would be a, a good first crop right out of the door because it's going to leave the soil better for the next, uh, you know, the next crops that I end up putting in here. Now, uh, the approach that I'm going to be doing here is, well, originally I was going to just uh, turn up the entire triangular area, uh, but my, my ex-wife was over here and, uh, you know, earlier this morning, and while well, obviously we don't see eye to eye on everything, she had a really great idea, at least I think it was a really great idea, to not kill myself trying to dig up the entire thing and to just do trenches around the periphery, which is what I was doing anyway. And we're going to uh, make what, what she referred to, and which I, I really love, a bean fort. Because uh, the beans are going to grow up you know, pretty much as high as I am. It's going to be all these walls, and I'm sure River will kind of love being able to go in there. It'll be kind of like a fort area. You'll be able to pick beans from the, the front and the back. And it's, it saves me some time. I don't have to dig up the whole, the whole middle there. Uh, so I'm starting by uh, sinking these guys into the ground. Now, if you're putting stakes around a garden, you, uh, you know, we'd normally drive those in. Uh, but these, uh, these things here I just cut from the forest over there. All that forest down there is what I'm going to be clearing in order to uh, get more sun into this area. And also we want to kind of open it up down to there's some streams down there. So over the ne next several years, I'm going to be getting my firewood and whatnot from, uh, from that area, but also things like sticks and poles. Uh, so I grab these, and uh, when you're taking... Uh, you know, limbs and things uh, right out of the uh, right out of the woods. They're always kind of twisty. It's a little hard to, to drive them in with a sledgehammer because uh, they kind of bounce around. So what I'm doing here, obviously, is I'm just digging holes and putting uh, the dirt back in around it, and then you know doing the kind of normal packing that I would do if I was building a brick wall. The types of uh, trees that I have here. Uh, now, I'm not 100% I'm not certain what that one over there is, but what these two guys are, and these are really great for this purpose, is poplar trees. Um, it's not like cedar where it's super rot resistant, but I've noticed whenever I use poplar uh, uh, stalks or limbs or whatever as a post in the ground, it takes a while for it to really rot out in the bottom. Uh, so I'm probably going to get a good two, maybe three or four years out of these, uh, out of these uh, posts here before they you know, rot and fall over, but they will eventually. Um, so I'm going to finish digging, uh, I'm sorry, filling in this hole that I dug here, and, and then part way down I'm going to be putting some smaller stakes in here. I'll probably just dig these out and kind of pack them in the same way. And then between uh, these smaller stakes, uh, honestly, it's just going to be stuff like this, little brush and things, and you, can, and you can leave all the side branches on them. Those will just get dug in there, and these are going to create all this great real estate for the beans to climb up and uh, vine all over these. And the reason that I have these really strong ones on the corner is because uh, some of these smaller guys, uh, you know, they can kind of get weighted down by the beans. They may kind of want to uh, get flopped over by the, uh, you know, the weight of the beans after a while because uh, they do add up. You know, you get a lot of beans on there, a lot of, a lot of plant and everything. And I have seen them, like, especially in wind, they'll want to flop down. I've got these really stable corners, and we're going to take twine and kind of run twine, and it'll uh, you know, kind of weave through all the other sticks that we have here. And these guys will be the anchors that'll kind of hold those things up, you know, if uh, the, the vines want to take the, uh, the post. <laughs> 